Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Panicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a highly requested uh, new design by a cameraman. That's a gingerbread. How will we preview of it in here? He was really fighting for me to do this design, so I thought, okay, let's do it. I hope you will guys really like it, this tutorial too. If you do, let us know in the comments below. So let's start. gingerbread today and uh, yeah I will show you my version of it so I've got my tips ready and then we are going to paint them this color because I think it looks like a gingerbread so that's 215 paint the entire tip absolutely amazing coverage which is very unusual for a nude colors and then give it a cure. Now, because I have applied it with the one coat, I'm not going to under cure the product uh, so it doesn't wrinkle. Apply it on the next tip. And then cure it. And then the third one. We have prepared so many different Christmassy designs, guys, for you. That's I hope you do really enjoy them. Also, thank you so much because we are so, so close to 100,000 subscribers. Like, we really appreciate it. All your support for this channel, uh, like, absolutely, it means, means a lot to us. Now, on my mixing palette, I'm going to add 225 color because I think it's absolutely perfect, again, for those uh, gingerbread look. And I've got a white, which was the white French gel. So first tip is cook, as we could hear it, it beeping. Let's grab it. And then I can start painting it. So using the watercolor brush, we are going to paint some star. So paint some triangle on the top, then the bottom, again on the bottom, and then same on the top. So this way I've got the shape of the star and now I can work on it. So I want more volume in there. I'm not bothered about the edges guys and do really do not lose your time on uh, perfecting those edges because we are going to cover it with some white anyway. So all you want to do it is just some body. She says don't bother and then she plays longer and longer. No, I'm really not bothered about it anymore. Okay, so I've got some uh, shape of the star. And now we are going to cure it. Then on this one we are going to go much harder. And we are going to paint the reindeer. So what you want to do it is paint some shape of the head. Make nice and rounded and then color it in. It 
again not to bother about the edges because we will perfect it later on. I'm always scared to make it too big on the beginning and then I know it is far too small. So I'm just adding more. Then add some body. And then color it in as well. Okay, we want to paint some ears. And another ear. And then some antlers. Painting with the watercolor brush so quick. Okay, so we've got the head ready. Let's make it maybe the body a little bit bigger. There we are. And also you can see there are some places which are lighter or see-through. I'm not worried about it too much because we are going it looks nice. It looks like a baked product. <laughs> let's cure it. And our star is ready. So let's grab our star. We can top coat it. And you could do it in so many different ways. I want the, some things to look like an icing sugar. So that's why I'm top coating my background. So this is my background, which we need to top coat it. So this is again my background, which I need to top coat it. And then on the third one, we are going to paint some heart. I have touched it. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab the dotting tool. If I have the larger one, I don't think so, but let me check it. I do have slightly larger one. So dotting tool. And we're going to paint a heart shape. Uh, Brown, where are you? I should actually do some tutorial in January maybe for you guys like the designs with the dotting tool because I think that's a pretty nice way of, of doing the things as well like the dotting tool because it's almost like a pen. Okay, so I've got the heart shape. Let's cook it and grab the first one. So the star is ready. Now we are going to swap for a detail work. So I'm using the D-liner brush. And the first thing we want to do it is we want to uh, decorate our star with some icing sugar. So very thin lines. And I'm also correcting the shape, you can see it guys as well. So here I've got too thick and I'm painting more on brown color. Then here I've got two fins, so I'm painting on this nude color, 
not on the ground as much. Then this one is uh, dented, so I'll, I'm going to fix it. Okay, so our star is all lined. Using the D-liner brush as well, we are going to do some attachment and then dotting tool other side Okay, I also want some decoration around it. So what we are going to do it is use the dotting tool and just go around it. Sorry, cameraman. So all the way around. And on the top. Okay, do the decorations inside. I'm trying to keep it simple, like, because uh, obviously baking is kind of simple. I actually like baking. Like, I do really like baking and I'm good at baking the cakes. I hope cameraman agree. Yeah. <laughs> he loves the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we are going to add a tiniest dots ever around the star. Oh my goodness. Is this even visible? Because I can't see it. <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah, camera is doing such a big scene. Away from the camera. I can hardly see it, guys. I don't like, I'm almost blind. Painting it blind. <laughs> if I'm watching the tip, I don't see anything. Do you? Even one dot I don't see. Okay. It just shows you guys um, how zoom in the camera is. I can hardly see it. It's more of just adding something there. And holding my breath. This one everyone will see. Yay! Okay, let's add other details. <laughs> so this is a um, icing sugar, icing sugar, icing sugar, icing sugar. I like those details. Yay! First one is ready. We have to cure it. So 60 seconds cure, even 90, because we have uh, put the gel without of top coat, guys. Okay, let's grab another one. So I will be doing them both at the same time, just because it might be some detail which I will be scared I get damaged. Ah, this one is not top coated. Okay, so top coat this one and then we can do the reindeer. There. 
we are top coated. And on the rein there, it's quite hard because we have to outline him. Like the entire design, we have to outline it. We have to do the nose. So let's maybe start with the nose. Nose is always the easiest part. And we're just painting on top of the top coat. I'm using the dotting tool. Sugar nose. He starts looking good. <laughs> Just with the nose. I'm not going to do, do anything else than the big parts first. So the belly. Oh no, this is not good. Clean my watercolor brush. Pick up the paint. I'm always clean. Uh, when I'm swapping the colors of the paint, I have to clean it in that color. Otherwise, it will um, stain. Like and to be honest, at this part, I don't want to do anything uh, else. Maybe just those couple dots. I would be really scared I I do some mistake. And then I can do also dots around it. I thought doing a dots is easier than the lines. Perfect, cure him. Go back to the, oh, the star is ready. So UV cleanser, remove the inhibition layer from the paint on French gel. There is hardly any, but there is some. And we can place the star in here. Okay, part number two, and this is the hardest one, because we need to paint the eyes. And what I want is take a D-liner brush, and we want to leave some empty space in there. So, let's paint like this. Around the eyes. Do the same. And then color everything in, leaving some shape of the eye. Give him a smile, so press harder and then lighter. Outline the antlers.
eyebrows. Outlining, I think, is the most hardest part. If you um, scared you might break something, I suggest you cure it. Because then if you do the mistake, you can always wipe it off. I like the fact that uh, we use the French gel, so we've got this textured look. <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> okay, add some sugaring inside the ears. I'm going to give him a different face. I like it better. <laughs> and then we can cook him, bake him. <laughs> okay, so bake our icing sugar. No, we shouldn't be baking icing sugar. Okay, let's decorate the heart. So again, icing sugar. Are you pleased now, cameraman? Yes. Yes. It's like, do the gingerbread, do the gingerbread. And I felt like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be dizzy at the end. Because it's all outlining. <laughs> Yes, and then I'm holding my breath more. So eventually, after three years, he got his gingerbread. I didn't wait long, three years. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, dots all the way there. There is, um, I've got a mess in the top coat on the one side. And as I told you guys, if the things happen, we have to fix them so how, somehow. So I'm just covering this mess. <gasps> Dorota, no. There we are. Yes. Arts. So we've got the stars, oh gosh, we've got the stars where the stars are and the hearts-ish where the heart is. Just perfected. Chain. Okay, another dot. Missing dot and dot, finish of the heart. And we need some decoration inside as well. So again, I'm going to go pretty lazy. But 
at the same time, I think it just goes together. And now for a change dotting tool. Yeah, but just so they bigger than on the star. Then the brush and the last I need to do it with the brush. There we are. <laughs> That's it. Finish it. Let's cook it. And then I can show you all the designs which we have created today. A ginger uh, bread to please the cameraman. So that's the one in the middle. Remove the bits and pieces of the uh, stickiness from the icing sugar. Place him in the middle. And then the other one, I just needed a couple seconds longer. Uh, or no, I don't need it. I wouldn't clean it. So without of removing the inhibition layer, I'm just going to place it there and then finish curing after the video. But that's what we have created today. And I hope you have really liked it. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.